Waiting on a bus to turn its engine off. Okay. Hey, what's up everyone? As you can see, I've got the bootstripe taped off here. I've got it sanded and cleaned and ready for paint. Um, this is a little contraption I've made to measure out the bootstripe. I've just cut uh, six inch slots. This is two and a half inches wide and the six inch slots, depending on um, how big your boat is, you may, or how, how, how much the angle is, you may have to make longer slots here. But uh, this just slides back. The bottom will run a ride, move along the water line or wherever I want the bottom of the uh, bootstrap to be. And then the top, I, pay, I tape a pencil right here. And then as I move along, this will slide back and forth depending on the angle of the hull and leave me, as I'm carefully watching this to stay on the bottom, then I'll just move it and slide it back and forth, however it needs to, to go, to mark the top of the water line. Now, I have a level here, so in order for this to work properly, the boat needs to be relatively level, and another person, ideally, will hold this end and make sure this level is uh, or make sure it is level by watching the the level so uh, and then i will walk along holding this on the bottom and adjusting this in and out as one person monitors that making sure it's level and i just move along sliding this out or in however it needs to however it needs to go until i've gone all the way around the boat and it's much easier. You could do it by yourself. I don't recommend it. It's pretty tough. But um, um, there, if you want to just go along and make a dot uh, with a magic marker every um, eight inches or so, which if you put those dots in there by yourself, you'll just put a dot every eight inches or so, and then you go back with a flexible rod, uh, probably something a little more flexible than this, but you would just hold this, uh, tape it or hold it. If you're trying to do this by yourself, you get one a little more flexible than this. And you would tape one end and let it, tape it along at each dot and then go back and draw a line. Uh, that's one way to do it after using that to make the dots. But ideally, ideally just get someone to give you a hand for about 15 minutes. And uh, if you make one of these, just draw your mark. And then uh, go back and tape it. Now, I did clean this off with uh, wax remover, mineral spirits, and acetone multiple times and sanded it with 320. And I'm getting ready to do what I call is an experiment. Um, so, I've got, so I've got this. I'm getting ready to put on this bright side. Now, ideally, pr prefer to use Alex Seal, but the colors that I want to use, the two different colors, that quart of that is like $117 each, uh, which I have all the catalysts and uh, converters. But that's, that's pretty expensive just for a bootstripe. Um, so I'm going to try this bright side and see if, uh, see if I can put that on and get it to flow properly. If, uh, if it looks fine, then great. Otherwise, I may have just wasted my money anyway. So if I put it on and it's too rough, I'm just going to sand it off and order the Alex seal. So there's an experiment to see if I can save $100 maybe. So let's see how it turns out. Looks terrible. 
looks really bad and lots of bubbles but I think those bubbles are beginning to pop out as you come down here where I first started it's definitely smoother all right so it's the next day and uh, it's pretty rough so I'm gonna sand this with 320 the first coat after you sand goes pretty smooth smooth enough but each additional coat you put over that gets rougher and rougher so uh, I've got a pretty good coverage I'm gonna sand this with 320 and hopefully I just need one more uh, coat over this which will be a smooth coat and um, can go from there So you can see the boot stripes, man, they look, really look good. Um, and uh, you can see that I've started scraping off some of the bottom paint. And this is the barrier coat. The gray is the barrier coat. So uh, after I finish painting this side, I'll start, um, I'll scrape all the rest of the bottom paint off, the blue, put another layer, I'll sand it, and put another layer or two of the um, barrier coat and then before I put it in the water, I'll put the uh, bottom paint back on. doing something my battery goes dead on my camera but anyway I've got the boat scooted over and um, next week I'm gonna start sanding this or in the next video I'll start sanding this putting the primer up and getting ready to paint this uh, fairing the sides and all that but uh, that's all the time I have for this video you can see I've got the boot stripes in here and so I'm just going to continue all this on this side and then start on the bottom. Thanks for watching.